Hello and welcome back to another VX tutorial. I just want to show off that I did add a few people here. Uh, start off in system, just so I can show what uh, elements are here. Uh, you can always change these, change the name, change how many there are. That it is just about everything I wanted to show here. Now, so you can change music and sound effects if you care and have added something special. Uh, yeah, let's show off the uh, animations. They basically have every single animation for the game in here. You can rename it, you can change uh, graphics around if you want, uh, make a second one, uh, just mess around with this if you want to change the animations. States are the status conditions of the game, they have 16 by default, uh, they got the name, Incapacitated is basically death. Uh, got the icon here. Uh, your restrictions are cannot use magic. You always attack enemies, always attack friends. Can't move or can't move or evade. Uh, you can check what elements you guard against with that, so if you made like a, uh, I don't know, like a force field of some kind, you can do that. Uh, these are states to cancel whenever you get this. So obviously having death means you can't have any other states on. Uh, these right here are for changing your stats by percentage. Uh, 100 obviously means it, it's not affected at all. And I'll explain these to so something that actually has them. Okay, we're we'll use uh, defense up, I guess. Uh, non resistance is basically you cannot resist having this. So if there's like a, uh, again, if there's some kind of shield, then this would get through the shield no matter what. Offset by opponent, I believe, means that you go first. Uh, no. Well, I think I just said uh, if you have something else, then this will not change uh, any other stats. Slip damage is. Uh, like your poison effect, you get hurt every turn. Reduce hit ratio would be. I don't think they have anything here. What would be like a accuracy down type spell? Uh, priority is just if it takes priority over something else. Obviously, death will take priority over any other status. Uh, lowest is one, which is all these uh, stat up ones here. And then you can basically set these stats to whatever you want priority to be.
least conditions. You can have it heal at the end of the battle, which if it's something like death and poison, it's not going to do that. You heal by damage, which will probably be... Oh, they don't have it. No, oh, they have it for sleep. So basically, if you get hit, then uh, the status is gone. That's normally how you make a sleep condition. You can have it heal after uh, so many turns with a uh, whatever percentage per turn. So basically you have a 20% chance of healing uh, each turn, but after after every so many turns you have this percentage to be cured. And yeah. Oh no. I was right the first time. Darn it. But uh your percentage is every turn, this means no matter after so many turns means no matter what you're cured after oh uh, for silence it'd be after three turns. This is a uh, message for your factors, for your enemy. Uh, <clears throat> when the state remains, I guess that's like if it's incurable or something. Then if you're cured, that's what the uh, message will be. Troops, I'll get into later. I guess the next thing would be skills. And the icons are the same for uh, states. So I will show that later on which uh, Cheap thing that is. Got uh, the name here. Got a description of what it does. Your scope is uh, just one enemy, all enemies, one enemy twice, like the dual attack, one random enemy, uh, two or three random, one party member, all party members. One dead or all dead, then the user itself. Occasion would be uh, pretty clear. Only in battle means it's battle only move. Only from the menu means it can only be used on the app. Then always means always. Ever means uh, it'd be like a special item or something that you can actually use. It's just there. And B cost is how much it uh, costs to use the skill. Uh, hit ratio is how often it hit. Speed would be uh, priority in battle. So if it's like a uh, protection spell, you probably want to set this up pretty high. Animation you have had anything special you want to use, here it is. Uh, common events, I will talk about those later. You got uh, the message. You do, uh, if you use the top line, so it's going to be username, then whatever the, you type here. Down here, you can type whatever you want and it will not start with uh, whoever cast it. Uh, elements, you just say what element it has. State changes, if it if you do plus, it means that will cause the effect. Like uh, if you want an instant death, you 
this dude plus on the death state uh, healing will be well reviving will be minus the death state. <coughs> Base damage is wherever your base, uh, whatever you set for uh, the default value for this single attack. Then it will add in the character's attack stat and everything. Uh, variant, I believe, is uh, the range of. Uh, damage going above or below uh, uh, attack F is attack F is uh, the uh, physical damage from the spell. Spirit F is the spirit damage of the spell. And a little note of uh, the base damage here. If you set it to a negative number, it becomes recovery spells like a heal. And options here you have physical attack, which just basically means it would take your physical attack stats to do it. Damage the MP means it will not only actually hurt you if you make it uh, attack spells as well as stealing the MP. Absorb damage will be like uh, this vampire one here. You hurt the person and you recover by however much that is. Ignore defense means it will be like a defense piercing attack. And you can leave little notes for each thing you make. And that's cover skills. So items and your equips aren't going to be too much different. The real difference is uh, you got the price, which uh, I believe is this buying price. If you make this zero, it means you cannot sell it. So, like a key item, uh, consume, uh, consume means you can uh, it'll be used up. So if you made like a key and it was set to consume, use that key once and you no longer have it. Speed is the same it was with skills, set priority, animation and common events are the same. Got recovery effect. Neither set a a certain percentage for HP or MP are a value. I don't think anything here actually does. Well, we got full potion doing 100%, but I don't really think anything else will do a percentage. You got a perimeter effect, which be like the life up. You will increase or increase. Uh, any one of your stats by whatever you set. Uh, damage effect would be like the uh, scrolls that they have here. Those are the same as the uh, skills. Same thing with the options. Uh, And weapons and armor are pretty much the same as well. Got name, description, animation, price. 
uh, hit ratios, how often the are accurate the weapon is. You got uh, the element and states that it can uh, produce. I don't think they have any. Uh, now they don't have any here that will actually change states, but you make like a poison weapon or a confusion weapon or a sleep weapon or whatever. Uh, parameter changes. Uh, basically, these are the increase in whatever stats that uh, the item will give you. So, as you get later in the game, you want to set this higher. Uh, two handed is two handed attack. Fast attack means it will uh, always take priority, I believe. Dual attack means you will always hit twice. Critical bonus means uh, critical hits will do more. Uh, for uh, armor, you change. You have a few different types. You can do a shield, a helmet, uh, body armor, or accessory. Uh, price is the same. Evasion is just how much evade it will add, if any. Uh, if you make anything like the flame shield, will protect you from fire. <clears throat> you can do prevent critical attacks. You can make uh, accessories that do... Where is it? Okay. Spare the last one, but it will uh, half the MP cost. So if you have a spell that requires like 10 MP, it will now be 5. Double experience gain is just what it sounds like. You can double experience in the battle. And auto HP recover means you recover uh, so much HP during the battle. Which I don't think you can actually set. So it's probably not all that much. And I will cover enemies and troops later. I'll do common events later. And before I stop, I want to show which I remember where it is. Okay, there it is. Under uh, your system and icon set. That is all the icons for pretty much everything I've shown t in this video. So if you ever want to change that, you can uh, uh, edit this and import it as the same file name.